Awesome. Hey everybody, I'm here with Kimberly from My Canadian Home. Kimberly is a professional organizer and she's going to give us five spring cleaning tips to get us uh, started on our spring cleaning. Kimberly? Yes, thank you so much for having me here. And so these tips are going to help you get ready for spring and get your home ready and get you ready just uh, mentally for the new season. So number one, we're gonna prepare for the season. And so the three spaces that you're going to tackle is your front hall closet, pack away that winter gear, and garage. All right, front hall closet, let's talk a little bit more about that, it is a closet where we just stuff everything into it. Don't do that. <laughs> We're gonna keep our front hall closets the same as the current season we are in. So, gut those closets, make it ready for spring. Now, the winter gear and clothes, we should be removing them from our closets, um, making way for the brighter colors and for spring. I also like to do, especially if you have kids, take inventory of the winter gear that you need for next season. I keep a little note on my phone um, before I wash them and put them away for next year. I take inventory. Do my kids need new snow pants for next year and gloves? So when the gear comes out into the stores, I already know what to get them. And number three, the space, the garage. We want to get our garage garage is ready. I know in the winter time our garage can just be a dump zone. Now is the time to get it ready because you don't want to be spending hours in your summertime um, cleaning out the garage over and over again. So get it done now and get it out of the way. All right, so number two, we're going to let go of the excess. Spring is filled with hope and new beginnings. So we are going to take that energy into and place it into our homes and let go of the things that don't have meaning, value, or purpose. It's, it's time, it's time to let go. Number three, we're gonna schedule our organizing into our calendar. A lot of times you'll say, yeah, we're gonna do this or do that. And when it's not written down, we tend to not follow through. So schedule into the calendar the time that you are going to organize. Number four, enlist your family to help or hire an organizer <laughs> because a lot of times space is so overwhelming that we don't even know where to begin but get the whole family involved chip away at a few things at a time and then you go then you'll have your space cleared all right number five is a little bit different but i like to do this in my own home and so i like to encourage others to do this in their own home to create a sweet spot. So this, what this means is it can be a corner, it can be a whole room, it can be a little space in your bedroom, but a sweet spot is a space where you can go and relax, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, spring organizing and cleaning, you need a spot to relax. So create that space because getting rid of uh, the physical clutter um, you're also, when you're doing that, you're also getting rid of that mental burden and that emotional burden of having all the stuff that is causing the chaos um, in your home. So go ahead and create a space where you can go into relax to, you can retreat to, you can have coffee, read a book, um, make it work for you. So those are my top five spring organizing tips and I hope that you will find them helpful. Awesome. Thank you, Kimberly. And hopefully with some of these sunny days ahead, that'll help inspire and energize people to tackle mm -hmm. on these, Absolutely. these endeavors. And Kim, what is your Instagram handle? My Canadian home. And that's in the link below. Do you have any other handles or is that the... That is it. That's it. Awesome. So if anybody wants to get in touch with Kim, she also works for hire. So if you don't want to tackle this on yourself, you can hire her. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Kim. And everybody have a great day. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>